Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have an oscilloscope and it's from Tektronix and that is sort of the brand for oscilloscopes so that is very nice. I found it second hand and it is from uh, Germany and uh, I bought it because I wanted to have something else because I am very happy with the Sigland. I have here the STS 1202XE and it's up to 200 megahertz, two channels, and it works really great. The menu is great. The display is very clear to read. And I was just looking for a higher frequency, maybe 350 or uh, 500 megahertz. And that was super, super expensive. And then I suddenly found this one. This one, as I said, is from eBay. It's from Germany. The guy tried to ship it as good as possible. The broke, a little thing was broken from the back, but uh, yeah, well, he tried very hard to do it correct, so, but I haven't switched it on yet. Uh, it is the TDS744A, and it is a 4 channel, 500 megahertz. And look at that. And it is, um, yeah, this is a classic uh, CRT uh, screen, but uh, yeah, I, I think it's about uh, 25 years old. But even though it's uh, that age, uh, it is still up to 500 megahertz and it already is 2 giga samples per second. 4 channels, this is really the 4 channel version, because if you have the 2 channel version, it also has connections here. But then it says uh, AUX1 and AUX2, I think. And those channels you cannot use at the same time, so you can only use uh, 2 at the same time. And here you can re really use them uh, all 4. Well, aside from the fact that it is a very nice oscilloscope, it is quite big. I can uh, compare it to, uh, to a newer one. Well, this is a Tektronik, a digital one. And as you can see, it is a, a huge uh, difference. <laughs> and, uh, well, this is not that new. This is, uh, this is a TDS 1001C educational version. I will play that uh, also uh, with this one later on uh, other video. And, uh, but um, they are also uh, famous because they are easy to hack. And another thing they are famous about is that uh, input, uh, input hybrids, uh, the relays, uh, will be bad at some point. So, uh, well, that is just something to check. I already saw videos for that, how to fix that. But uh, it should actually be, be good. And before it was sent, a few months ago, it uh, even was tested, so uh, let's have a look around it. We already have seen the front. I think it's a 6.47 inch. As I said, it is a CRT, so it's a classical uh, tube. Uh, let's see if I can not break my desk. Well, it has a big ventilator on the side, so hopefully it's not noisy. Well, usually if it's bigger, it is less noisy. It has been to a tech server center, I see, in Köln, Germany. And let's see in the back, there's a power plug. And it has been tested 2021 in October. So, at least the plug is tested. And let me see. It has serial, it has Centronics, and it has a GPIB port, that is great. And it even has VGA output. Okay, cool. And serial number instrument, and it says here 1M, so that could be one of the options that is in there. And what else we have? Let me see. Yeah, here again also. So it is done by the e-service in Germany. And it was in October. And the seal is still on it. So there is a big chance. It is just perfectly good. Yes, and I told you they were sort of easy to hack. And what you can do is you can actually make it into a, a 784. And the 784 can go up to a thousand megahertz. It does have, the original one does have four giga samples and this one only has two. So I'm not sure if you also get those samples extra. And you can also switch on and off uh, options through the port in the back. 
So that is also something I think you need to edit the NV ROM. Well, I need to read a lot more because I don't want to break it, of course. Um, one of the options is this drive. Now clearly it's already in. And I think it had the memory option also. Uh, we've seen it has been tested. It didn't make a noise when I shake it. So uh, let's switch it on. Let's see. Oh, I am a little bit excited. So let's see. Look, the plugin. It should now be in standby mode. So switch it on. Click. Oh yeah, the ventilator you can hear. Well, it is normal that uh, it takes a while to boot. Now uh, here we have the option 13, 1F, 1M and 2F. So one is the floppy drive, one is the FFT option I think, a memory option and there is something else. Power on, self test, passed, push clear. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. It seems the screen is very far to the back. I don't know if that is the shipping, that it has moved or that it is original. But it is kind of clear to see. Well, let's see a little bit. I'm going to play with my fast rise time uh, oscillator. And well, I'm having here the, the dummy. But the oscilloscope should also be able to go to 50 ohms. So then I don't need the terminator. Uh, let me see. Yeah, here. 50 ohms. You can hear the relay. Uh, coupling is okay. Let's put the signal in. It, I just push the auto set button. Okay, cool. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can put the measurements, measurement one. Select, uh, let's do the frequency, rise time, fall time. And what else? Peak, peak. Okay, cool. And it says the rise time is now around, well, it's below 600 picoseconds. I'm now looking here in the display and here it says 100 giga samples per second. So I don't know why it says it can only do two. A hundred is really a lot. So I need to read what that exactly uh, is. Uh, the frequency right now we don't see, but that is, if we change the scale a little bit, it should be easier to see the frequency and look at that. 10 megahertz, that is exactly right. Wow, look at this. I connected now my uh, screen and now you really have a huge, huge, huge screen. Wow. It just responds just as fast. Well, both the displays you can actually see very well. Well, I'm checking now the options that it should have. And the uh, 2F, that is the FFT function. And the uh, 13, that is the RS232 and the Centronics. The 1M is the memory and the 1F that is the Laufwerk, that is the floppy drive. It seems to be all there. Well, most of uh, the things seem to work. I need to play a lot more. It had so many buttons and you really need to search. It is a little bit less user friendly than the, than the Sigland if you're not used to it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm finding my way and I'm... Uh, I need to play a lot more. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.